Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today's video is how to delete all rows in Excel table using Power Automate. I will directly jump to my Office 365. Over here, I will create a Power Automate flow from scratch. I will click on New Flow and Instant Cloud Flow. I will choose the manual trigger. In your case, based on the requirement, you can choose your trigger. I will name my flow as DS Tech Mirror. I will click on Create and this will open the Modern Designer. I will, and in the Classic Designer, we will work on this flow. I will click on the New step and I will choose this trigger called Excel Online Business. And from here, I will choose an action. So I have to delete all the rows present in the Excel. My Excel is present in my SharePoint in a POC site inside default document library called documents and a folder called sample data. And I will be working with this sheet called India. Let me open this in a browser. Inside this Excel, I have this sheet called sheet one and this is the data which I would like to delete. And if you will observe, this is formatted as format as table. If you see table design, this is the table name. I have formatted this data in the form of table. So if you are not aware how you can do that, so let me show you. I will do that in sheet two. So just select the entire Excel, go, uh, go to format as table and click on any of the design from here. Now, if your data is header, you can check this checkbox called my table as header and click on OK. Now your data is formatted as table. If you will select this, the entire sheet, you could see this table design and table name. I will be working with this table called table 1. This is the name table 1. Let's go back to the Power Automate flow. From here, what I will do. So first of all, to delete all the rows, I have to read them. And if you will see all these actions which are present over here, get row. this will give me a single row. Get worksheet is there. And there's one more action called get tables. So since my data is present in the form of table, this will give me the entire data. So I will select this. Then I will select the location, POC site, document library, as I said, default SharePoint document library, file, it is present in sample data and file name as we saw, India. Now, let's move to the next step. Next is this, we need to delete this data. So I will, as usual, select this Excel online business and delete arrow because I have not seen over here any action which can delete the entire table or all the data in one go. So I will say delete arrow. Now again, let's select the default location or wherever Excel is present. Let's select that location, document library, pretty basic stuff. This is file, table, table is table one. I show you, we have two tables in two sheets. We will be working with this table key column just to recognize which data to delete. For example, if you see there are multiple columns over here, there are five columns and it just to find the row to delete, it wanted to know which row you wanted to select. So you can select any row if you wanted to delete all the columns. Here I will select product. I will say product. And since we wanted to delete all the rows, I cannot, uh, I cannot enter the specific value. In your case, if you wanted to delete a specific row, you can enter the value hard coded and that will work. But since I wanted to delete all the rows, so what I will do here, over here, I will take help of one more action. So I will go over here. I will say add an action, Excel online business, and we need the rows to delete them. And over here, if I will scroll through all the available action, uh, you will see this list rows present in a table because over here we have the table. Now with the using this table, we will get all the rows. We will pass this row to this action called delete a row. So there is no inbuilt action which will delete the data in bulk in one go. So over here, just uh, select the basic stuff to recognize the Excel location where it is present. And here I will select my Excel name and here the table name. So table name is table one. And now if I go to this delete arrow, we have already selected everything. I have to select the key value. Now this action list rows present in a table will give me the value of this product and automatically this loop will get added. So what is happening? My flow will get triggered. 
I'm selecting the table from my Excel which is present, passing this data to this action called list rows present in table. This is giving me rows which I am passing it to delete a row action to delete. Now this should work for me. I will save this and let's quickly test this. Test manually. This is a manual trigger. Run flow. This is running and it is taking some time because it has some rows to delete. So based on the data, this action will take some time. And I think it got executed successfully. So let's go over here and you will see all the data is deleted in your Excel. So this is how you can delete your data and this tutorial will help you. For example, if you're adding some data to your Excel where it is required to first clear your Excel and then add it. So this will help you in those kind of scenarios. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. Till then, much love. Keep learning. Thank you.